I didn't book my return flight to Spain. Who does that? Who does that? Well, besides me. So I am still here in Marrakech. I have rebooked my flight to Philadelphia for Monday out of Barcelona. So uh, today's Friday. I have three days to get to Barcelona. I have decided I'm going to try to travel there entirely by land and sea and doing something I do well, not doing my research. This time, deliberately, I am going to be traveling all the way across Morocco and Spain using three rules. One, no flights. Two, no planning things out ahead of time. Once I get to a place, I can research online, you know, what options are available for travel. But uh, I need to be in the place. And three, I have to visit at least one other country besides Morocco and Spain. Let's see how this goes. Breakfast. This is called Hobbs. Um, I only assume that the stuff you put on it is called Calvin. Update, I am riding in a the back of a... a uh, no, we're going to go to the tannery to see the festival of the Berber. Okay, one in Marrakesh. We. So this was uh, 80 Durham, or about 8 bucks. And uh, great accommodation. Suspension in this thing is amazing. To uh, be careful of the door frame. Where are you from, and by the way? Pennsylvania, USA. From Philadelphia? Yeah, well, near Philadelphia. And what is your your favorite cheese steak? Gino's or Pat's or. <laughs> You've been to Philadelphia? I've been many times to Philly. Oh, nice. So these are the tanneries. These are the tanneries. <laughs> Work over there in the tannery. This is made out of lamb leather. Hi. 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 I have made it to the train station. They charged me another 250 dirhams, or about 25 bucks, for the uh, ride to the station and the tour. But uh, in my opinion, it was worth it. It was a lot of fun. Uh, special thanks to these guys for showing me around. And uh, now to catch a train. And we've got about 25 minutes until our Al Barak to Tangier. So surely that's enough time to ride the Casablanca tramway, right? I have scored a round trip ticket and a map of the tramway system. The ticket was 14 dirhams or $1.40. For round trip, I don't know how often the train runs, so uh, making great life decisions here in Casablanca. Okay, timing is pretty perfect here. Got a uh, tram coming our way. We also have turnstiles at the entrance to the station, which RM Transit says is a bad idea. This thing is packed. Oh, this is just perfect timing. Well, except, where does this one board? Oh, no. Not another queue that runs for a train. Separate fare areas for each direction. Let's see if I can jump on. Whew. Made it. Gotta say, this is some pretty lovely 
transit-oriented development here. You know, I just realized, because I'm in first class, I technically have lounge access. Okay, we got coffee and tea and uh, water and juice. And a stool I just knocked over. And our train is in six minutes, so that was literally all the time I had for the lounge. I am looking forward to being in Spain and actually knowing the language. So, it is about 8.10, the night is young. I wonder if it's possible to get into Spain tonight. The time is 8.40 and the situation with my flight has actually gotten weirder. I just got this email asking how my trip yesterday was on Vueling, which means I did book my flight from Marrakech to Barcelona. Um, it was a rebooking because a family member had COVID. This trip was supposed to be about three weeks earlier. And um, Vueling never sent me a confirmation email that I'd changed the flight. Um, I searched through my spam filter, I searched through my trash. Um, no record of the change in my email and I you know, never bothered to look on the Vueling website because every other time I've flown, the email's been in my inbox. So I don't know if I checked something weird when I rebooked it and uh, asked for it to be sent via text, which you know I can't see because my phone's somewhere in Uchida. So I looked up possibly getting a ferry tonight, but um, after some consideration and the uh, kind of slow station Wi-Fi, I've realized that that's probably not the best idea. Plus, I am kind of tough. So, I got myself an Airbnb here in Tangier, and tomorrow morning, bright and early, we'll be hopping on the ferry to Tarifa. Here's something vaguely historic. Update, that's something vaguely historic. Turned out to be this whole mazy, like, city within a city. I've made it to my Airbnb in the old city after much searching. Um, since I don't have a phone with me to do Google Maps, I took a picture of the address on um, the confirmation email, showed it to a taxi driver. He said, um, you can get me most of the way there, but I had to walk the last little bit. So I um, searched the walking directions on his phone, took a picture of that, tried to use that, got lost, Asked a couple locals for directions, one clearly had no idea what he was doing. <laughs> he took me to like one uh, hotel that clearly had a different name than where I'm staying and insisted it was the right one. And then when he was pretty sure it wasn't, he was pretty sure he knew where it was, so he uh, started leading me down the street. But then I was finally realizing, okay, this guy has no clue where he's going. Pulled away in a cafe, um, told him, you know, it's alright, shukran, <laughs> sat down, got on the Wi Fi message to my host, and indeed, the uh, well-meaning gentleman who was trying to show me around was taking me in the completely wrong direction, um, and my host was able to find me. Take me here, I am super tired and drained and honestly really grouchy at everyone and everything. So um, I'm going to hit the hay. I booked myself a ferry for 8 a.m. tomorrow because self-care is not a priority right now. Direct Ferry says I booked it, but FRS, which actually operates the ferry, says my booking doesn't exist. So um, I'm gonna need to go down to the port before the 8 a.m. sailing to actually check in what I do for the content. You guys just like watching me suffer, don't you? Good morning from day two here in Morocco. And hopefully I didn't just turn down a dead end because the old city here is confusing. All right, we have exited the walled portion of the city, which means we are once again in the realm of cars. That there behind the wall is a Jewish cemetery. I'm not gonna shoot for Portugal because that's in the opposite direction of where I need to go. Instead, I'm gonna aim for France because if something goes wrong, I'll end up in Barcelona anyway because I'm heading in that direction. That looks to me like a ferry terminal. 
We are all checked in. Time to clear passport control and get on the boat. Sun's in my eyes now. Time picks the worst time to get up and explore the ship. We're uh, getting some choppy water and. Uh, I've been told there's a free bus here in Tarifa that will take me to Algeciras. From Algeciras, I can catch an intercity bus to Malaga and then an Ave train to Madrid. That'll get in about 7 p.m. And then hopefully I'll be able to find an overnight bus to Barcelona and then uh, keep heading east from there. On board. So does this guy have any friends? Nope, he ain't got nobody. I found some people walking towards the bus station as well as signage for the bus station, so I think we're all set. Welp, it looks like I might be stuck in Algeciras for a couple hours. The next bus to Malaga is full. So I'm waiting for the three o'clock bus, which I just booked a ticket on. It was about 16 euros. So, you know, things are a little bit pricier over here in Spain as compared to Morocco, but not unreasonable. Now I'm in search of some lunch and some Wi-Fi to uh, figure out what happens next. I have never seen a direction sign like this before. What does this even mean? So I kind of broke my rule about not booking things in advance because the uh, Renfe service, they, they run a a rail bus, I wanted to see if that was available to potentially leave sooner instead of the uh, bus I booked. Uh, turns out it's fully booked for today. So I figured might as well book my Ave from Malaga to Madrid while I'm here in Algeciras. My Ave gets to Madrid around 10 p.m. and then my hope is to find an overnight bus to Barcelona and possibly into France but I will get to that when I get to Barcelona. The gentleman here told me that this was gazpacho. It appears to be a cold tomato smoothie. Bit different than the gazpacho I've seen on the internet, but that gazpacho was way better than it looked. It was uh, kind of uh, interestingly spiced and flavored. Now in search of uh, other food. So with five minutes to go until the bus, I'm having a little blood sugar and uh, I don't have cash. The shop back there, full of sugary food, only takes cash. I have a uh, one juice box and about five cookies with me. That might not be enough. When I get little blood sugars, I get them pretty bad. So I'm gonna try to very, very quickly buy something in this cafe and then catch the bus. Success! And here we are in Malaga. I slept pretty much solid the entire way from Algeciras, but uh, I was also not aware that the bus only took two hours. So I now have a much longer layover than I anticipated here in Malaga. The train station here is kind of an afterthought in what is otherwise a massive, kind of upscale shopping plaza. What do you guys think of that design choice? Let me know in the comments. One thing I've noticed about Spanish escalators is that they're usually super slow until you get on them. And then they speed up. I wonder if that's like a cost saving measure of some sort or uh, if there's some other practical purpose for it. So I got a uh, MMM card, Modern Metro Malaga transit card. It's still kind of uh, floppy flexible, but I believe, oh, well, this is a, no passe. Believe. Yep, you can just tap it. And I have a sense that this is kind of the Baltimore metro of Spanish metro systems because this is a huge concourse. And as you can see, it is almost completely empty. 
I wonder how crowded the train is going to be. Also, where are we going? I don't even know. I guess I'll just get on whichever train comes first. So it looks like we have a uh, stacked situation where line two is down there and line one is up here. So I'm just going to jump on whichever train comes first on any of the four platforms. I guess we're getting on line two. That is a tram. I was not expecting that. Okay, so we have an overbuilt station and then we have a tram at the end of the huge concourse. This is shaping up to be a very uh, unique transit. Like it's not even multiple tram cars linked together, like the Seattle light rail. It's literally a single tram in a massive metro style tunnel. Why did they even put this underground? And here's another one back to the train station. So interestingly, as we pull back into El Cartel, this train is becoming a line one train. I was hoping to ride a bit of line one, and now I don't need to change trains at all. Well, I gotta say, this is one of the most bizarre metros I have ever ridden. It's like the weirdest parts of the Seattle light rail, the Baltimore metro rolled into one. I don't think I've ever been in a metro system that's this quiet. You can hear the trams ringing their bells from like a station away. Okay, well there was today's lesson in how not to build a metro. And now, because I'm still trying to cram in as much transit as possible, I'm gonna go for a ride on Malago's commuter rail system. Just one stop to the central station and back. You can clearly tell which platform has people who actually want to go somewhere, and which platform has a single solitary rail fan who wants to ride from the one central station to the other central station and back. Now that is acceleration. Beat that, arrows. Now to catch our Ave up to Madrid. And the tickets are actually Amtrak sized this time. This train ride better be fun. It cost me 120 euros. All these people are getting onto one train. Imagine how much traffic that would be if each of these people was driving their own vehicle. To Madrid Atoka station and uh, because Wi-Fi can be a bit unreliable in Renfe stations I already booked my next leg which is a bus overnight from uh, I believe Plaza de Americas station here on the Madrid Metro all the way to Barcelona and I will get there tomorrow morning but I do have a couple hours so what fun can we have with transit in Madrid let's find out so I purchased a ticket on the uh, regional rail to ride one stop. Oh dang, I am probably gonna miss this one. After seeing all of these wonderful EMUs on my Spain and Morocco trip, I gotta ask, how did SEPTA settle for the Silverliner 5s when these exist? So that was a cool system to take a very, very brief look at. And now, I'm gonna get a cab to the bus. So with nine minutes to go until the bus leaves, someone helpfully pointed out that I wasn't in the right place, that the bus is bored from a bus bay downstairs in the station. So, glad that happened. All right, we are in motion. It is now the end of the day. Time for me to sleep. I will see you tomorrow morning in Barcelona. Good morning from Barcelona Sant Station. It is Sunday, day three of this challenge. 
and uh, technically I have made it to Barcelona, but I still haven't done the third rule of the challenge, which is I have to visit a country besides Spain and Morocco. I have decided that that country will be France. Um, Andorra, there's nothing to do, even though it's a micronation, which is kind of cool. Uh, they have no trains, so why would anyone want to go there? And I can't really go any further past the southern bit of France, just because timing and the like. So, I have mapped out and booked a very, very cool adventure into the Pyrenees. Vamonos! Well, vamonos after I find somewhere to charge my dead laptop and fix my low blood sugar and charge the camera. All right, breakfast has been had. I got a pineapple juice, a chorizo sandwich, and a chocolate croissant. Gotta work on my French, get them going to France today. Now back to Sans Estacio, or however you say it. So this particular train won't take us all the way to France, but it'll get us part of the way there. So I fell fast asleep, woke up, and the train is empty. So I have an hour here, and then on to the Tour de Carrel. Okay, wee bit of a problem. The train from Barcelona to Ripoll was about two hours. Ripoll to La Tour de Carrel is another two hours. Like, what's going on on this stretch of track that has the trains moving so slow, slowly? Point is, I'll get to France a full 40 minutes after my train from here to here departs, and that's like a tourist train that only runs about twice a day. So I just wasted 11 euros on a tourist train, not to mention 60 euros on the Tejave back to Barcelona. I think instead of going to France, I'm actually not going to complete point three of the challenge, and instead get off here in uh, whatever this place is. You'll see why. So if what the station agent told me is true, the R3 is being bustituted from Ripoll up to France. But there are still trains serving this station from another railway, namely the Nuria Rack Railway, which is a mountain railway that has been on my bucket list for a long time. I did not think I was going to be able to do it this trip, but I'm very, very excited because uh, even though a lot of things have gone wrong for me on this adventure, it means I get to ride the Nuria. And this, ladies and gentlemen, is Val de Nuria, a little piece of paradise here on Earth. The highest railway station in Spain, possibly the highest railway station in Europe outside of the Alps, up here in the Pyrenees near the French border. And I think this is where I will conclude my video. All that's left is for me to take the bus and train back down to Barcelona, stay in my Airbnb, and fly back home to the United States. Overall, I'm glad that I had this little extra adventure. 
uh, phoneless, planless, just kind of making it up as I went along. Definitely not something I'd want to do again. It's very hard to navigate Europe without a phone. And when you do things last minute, you wind up spending a lot more money. Like I said at the beginning of the summer, trains and transit are nothing without the places they take us to and the people they connect us with. And I think this place, along with many of the other places I visited both in this video and in this series, fall under that philosophy. Go ride a train, see where it takes you, and take care everyone.